Welcome to my channel where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. Now, the national anthem of Nigeria is in the news. The original national anthem of Nigeria, the, the national anthem that Nigerians know in 1960 when the, the country got independent. Nigeria we heard the was composed by Lillian Jane Williams, a British expatriate living in Nigeria at the time. It therefore means that Nigeria we heard the was a colonial legacy because it was composed by a British subject and had the approval of the British authority that were in charge of Nigeria before they hand over the country to the natives, the Nigerian people in 1960. So Nigeria we held the was indeed, or is indeed, a colonial legacy. But this colonial legacy was discarded in 1978 when it was replaced by the, the then national anthem, Arise of Compatriots. Now, Arizo compatriots has now been discarded for Nigeria we held in, in 2024. Several decades after independence, Nigeria has reverted, reverted back to a national anthem that was composed literally by their colonial masters. It's an indication of whether Nigeria is moving forward or backward, or whether Nigeria even have thought leaders. That is what we are going to unravel in this video. The essence of changing or reverting back to the old national anthem. What is it for? We were not told. We, Nigerians were not told why we are reverting back to the old. Now, what are the reasons that was given by the time we discarded Nigeria, we held the and went for Arise O Compatriot. This was issue that was not discussed by our National Assembly before they rushed back or they reverted to the old anthem. They didn't even explain, nobody tried to give the reason why the old national anthem was discarded in the first place for Arise O Compatriot in 1978. So, in this video, we're going to remind us the reason why Arise Compatriot emerged and Nigeria we held the, was discarded in 1978. Now, one of the, the, the Nigeria changed to, uh, changed its original national anthem from Nigeria we held the to arise your compatriot in 1978 to better reflect the country's aspirations and cultural diversity. The decision was to adopt a new, the decision to adopt a new national anthem at that time was driven by several factors. That's the reason why Nigeria uh, moved from Nigeria we had the to arise with compatriot 
we are driven by several factors but number one among the factors was inclusivity and representation Arazo compatriot was composed with contributions from a range of Nigerian citizens making it a more inclusive a more inclusive anthem than Nigeria we heard in. So it has a fair representation of Nigeria in terms of those who composed it. It was a reflection of the diverse cultures and values. Okay? So Nigeria we heard it was seen as less reflective of Nigeria's multicultural society. That was why one of the reasons why uh, Nigeria we heard it was discarded in 1978. Another reason was national unity. At that time, there was a desire to promote national unity and patriotism. So a rise of compatriot emphasizes themes of unity, service, and patriotism, which were considered very vital for the nation's cohesion, especially after the civil war that ended in 1970. So that was part of the things that inspired Arise of Compatriot. It was to ensure unity, to, to reunite the country, after the civil war in which several lives were lost and the, the unity of Nigeria was indeed tested. Then another number three reason why uh, Nigeria we heard it was discarded in 1978 was post-colonial identity. You know, as Nigeria sought to forge a strong post-colonial identity, it was important to have symbols, including the national anthem, that resonated with the people and inspired a sense of national pride and purpose. You know, there's this feeling. It's just the kind of feeling you get if you are inside a nursing vehicle. You feel that this is a Nigerian thing. Or you are you are you, you or you or you are using Zionist computer. You know that this is a Nigerian thing or that you are using uh, Dangote cement, you know this is a Nigerian thing, or that you are using the GLOW network, you know this is a Nigerian thing. You know, something that gives you a sense of belonging, that this is our own. We've made this possible. That was how Arise Your Compatriot was viewed as, it's a Nigerian thing, it resonated with Nigerian people. This is not a creation of the colonial masters. It doesn't have the approval of the colonial authorities. It was approved by the Nigerian people at that time under the leadership of General Olusegun Obasanjo as the head of state of Nigeria. So the Arise of Compatriot anthem was part of a broader effort to foster national unity and solidarity, helping to establish a sense of common purpose in, 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 in among Nigerians, so it is a, it's, it's, it is a, a, what you can call a pan-Nigerian anthem, a Nigerian anthem that is that resonated with the people, a creation, a hundred percent creation by the Nigerian people, without any support from the British. Arise, O compatriot, was a Nigerian anthem true and true. Unlike Nigeria we held the, which was composed by a British and which was uh, given approval by the colonial authority for whatever is what. But that is where we have returned to now. And how did this start? How did this start? Now, barely a week ago, the House of Representatives of Nigeria passed a bill into law to revert to the old national anthem, Nigeria We Heard It, 
and discard the current one, Arise with Compatriot. It was sponsored by the House Leader, uh, Honorable Justice Ehovere. The, the bill was speedily passed. In fact, it was one of the fastest passed bills in Nigerian history. It was speedily passed through second reading and was considered and thereafter approved at the Committee of the Whole and passed for the third reading at the plenary. It was almost like the speed of light. The intensity, the intensity with which it was passed, without serious scrutiny, without even asking why it was abandoned before. Why did the old national why was the old national anthem? They didn't bother to discuss about it. They didn't try at all. They were they were in a hurry to get this passed. Now the legislation titled Bill for an Act to provide for the national anthem of Nigeria and for related and for matters related there there to Bill for an Act to provide for the national anthem of Nigeria and for matters related there to they, not, they, didn't, they, they didn't give any real justifiable reasons. Perhaps it was just for nostalgia. It was things that perhaps Bola Metinubu, he enjoyed reading, uh, reciting that anthem when, when he was young and stuff. They just feel that it is good that we revert back to it. Because they didn't give us any real reason. The reasons why Nigeria we held it was better or is better than our rise of compatriot. Now, on Tuesday, uh, May 28th, the Senate now following the lead by the House of Representatives, uh, passed the bill to revert to the old anthem. The Senate President, uh, Goswila Pabio, announced passage of the bill after majority of the senators supported it through voice vote. And of course, many of those that their support for it was not based on any tangible reason. Nigerians were not told any cogent reason. And even the intervention of the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice, Latif Fabemi, was not enough to dissuade the lawmakers. They went ahead to pass the bill because the, the Attorney General was saying that, look, this bill you are proposing, it need to be, Nigerians need to be, to get involved. You need, you need wide, wider consultations. But apparently, the bill was a, a creation of Bolaam Etinobo. It came from the president's, even though it wasn't presented as an executive bill. The speed it was moving, the speed it was passed, even with this, the speed with which it was signed into law, was amazing. You can you know that this must have originated from Bolaam Etinobo's office at the president's. And given to the National Assembly, I said, go and pass it. Because I can remember, Look at the Southeast Commission bill that has been passed by the Senate. It's lying with President Bola Metinobo. He has not signed it. It is a bill that's supposed to ensure the development of the Southeast, the reconstruction and rebuilding of Southeast after the disastrous three years of war, 1966, 1967 to 1970. If there is any part of Nigeria that deserves development commission, it is the Southeast. That commission, Southeast Development Commission, has been passed by the House of Reps and the Senate. It is lying there in the office of President Bola Metinubu for several months now since it was passed. Bola Metinubu did not thought it fit to sign it. He doesn't consider it important. But you can see the speed of light with which he signed this 
change of national anthem because they are they are adept at prioritizing what shouldn't be prioritized upon so you can see this bill the attorney general say look wait a while consult with the people there should be public hearing and all that but they were already fixated in their desire to return revert back to the old national anthem for whatever reason and you can see that uh, on may 29 2023 2024 sorry perhaps as part of some of the one of the things he will uh, uh itemize among his achievements in one year president bola metinubu signed the bill returning the old national anthem into law and this was disclosed by the senate president goswell Pabio, during the joint plenary that tinubu attended now the revert to the old anthem as far as i can see it is a reflection of the government's penchant for foreign made products and services and this these are the same reason that mentality is the reason why the naira is doing badly today among the worst performing currencies in the world it is that mentality of always preferring foreign things than local made things the old anthem was composed by a colonial official and approved by the colonial authorities. It therefore means, without doubt, that this government has been operating with colonial mentality. It has been operating with colonial mentality. And you see it reflecting in everything they do. You saw how they uh, they rejected Nigerian-made SUVs for foreign-made SUVs for National Assembly lawmakers and for the office of the president and the office of the wife of the president. That made colonial mentality. That was why Nigerian-made SUVs by NRC Motors is not good enough for them. They must go for the foreign-made in line with their colonial mentality. That is it. That's what it is. It's this this revert to the old anthem is all part of colonial mentality. You can see it reflect in their patronage of hospitals in London and Paris, spending billions of dollars of taxpayers money because nigerian hospitals cannot be made to meet their need a nigerian doctor treating them in nigeria here they will not feel very safe until they are touched by a white doctor in london or Paris, colonial mentality. And they also, you can see, also see it, they see themselves as the new colonial masters. They operate with the mentality of the colonial masters. They don't see themselves as part of us. No. They are running the country with the colonial mentality that's why you can see that how they are prevaricating about paying living wage living wage to nigerian workers they treat the nigerian workers with the same disdain that the colonial masters treated nigerian workers before independence that's why they they feel scandalized that the labor has the temerity to de de demand for 615,000 naira minimum wage. 
they tell you the campaign that they suggested 48,000 move it up to 54,000. Now Atlanta is now 60,000, they are suggesting. But they have enough money to satisfy their greed and build, and they are already releasing trillions of Naira for coastal highway from Lagos to Calabar. A highway that we are yet to be convinced on its necessity and then issues of uh, the questionable value of it, the transparency and accountability. They thought Nigerian people don't deserve to know all these things because they are the colonial masters. We are their subjects. So they can afford to do that. And that is the same thing they have done about this national anthem. Nigerians were not consulted. They didn't carry Nigerian people along but they have passed the law. Nigerians have to live with it. They have to go and learn the new national anthem. Nigerians now, have, the social studies books and other books written for primary school students have now, they have to be updated. Who will pay the cost for it? Who will pay the cost for the authors of those books to revert back, to go back and uh, change the national anthem? In the books they have published, so they published the, those, those books two years ago, three years ago, five years ago. To them, it doesn't matter. They have handed down the order. They have made the law, like the colonial, like the colonial masters before them. It is all for the subjects to obey. Now with the speed that the new national anthem or the the, the the speed with which they reverted to the old national anthem it shows that the government and the lawmakers they are totally unmindful of the hardship in the country they are living in a different island obviously of contentment whereas majority of the people they are governing, of course, with, the, with their colonial mentality, are passing through unprecedented hardship, but they don't care. And uh, another important thing, lesson I can draw, observation I can make from this, is that it may also be part of the effort to mock former President Tolushegun Obasanjo under whose leadership, under whose leadership, we the the new the, the 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 former national anthem, that's a rise of compatriot was created. It was Obasanjo's administration that got rid of Nigeria we held it. So I wouldn't be surprised that the Tinubu's desire for it to be discarded was just to rub it in on Obasanjo. And there's something you can't take away with. Uh, you know, there is no love lost between the duo of Bola Metinubu, Wole Shoenka, and Obasanjo. This duo, Obasan uh, Wole Shoenka and uh, Bola Metinubu, the, 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 the they don't like Obasanjo at all. They barely tolerate him. Okay? So, do not, do not be surprised that one of the key reason, reasons Tinubu supported this was to push out and to do away with something that has imprint of Obasanjo in terms of being the president when it was uh it was uh, it was adopted as the new national anthem it wasn't Obasanjo that wrote a rise of compatriot but it was his government that decided that look we can continue with this colonial mentality of singing a national anthem that was composed by a britain but we need to have homegrown national anthem that reflects 
the new Nigeria in which we have to reflect the unity of Nigeria that was shaken by the Civil War and all that. But with the parochial way the, some of these leaders view things, they will feel that, oh, it doesn't spite of us and by doing away well with it. That's why you can see how they elevated June 12th as Democracy Day. Even Pre former President Buhari, under whose administration they elevated June 12th as Democracy Day. It's not, it's not that Buhari cared about uh, Abiola, because Buhari himself was in bed with Abacha, that was instrumental to the death of Abiola himself. Buhari worked under him as chairman of PTF. There was never any time it was reported in the media that Buhari showed any sympathy to Abiola about his mandate. But you can see Buhari sign it. Why did Buhari sign it? Buhari signed it because Obasanjo didn't have time for things like June 12th being used as a democracy day because Obasanjo understood all the all the antics of the so-called promoters of June 12th. So he wasn't really interested in it. So they did it to spite him. That's what Buhari did. Those of them, including Bola Amit, it's not that they care about Abiola like that. If you want to read about uh, Odumaka, uh, Odumaka, Odumaki, this is uh, an activist that I go and read what he wrote about Bola Amit, you know, and June 12th, and uh, Abiola, Odumaka, he's late now, he died during the COVID, okay, he's an activist, Odumaka, go and read it, go Google his name, go and read it, you see tons of things he had written in Tribune and elsewhere about, about the role of Bola Metinubu on June 12th, whether it was altruistic or not, go and read Odumaka, Go and read it. I recommend him for you. But you can see how all of them cele is celebrating June 12th as if it really it's from their heart. But if you want to know how Tinubu feel about June 12th, go and read Odumaka. Go and read his, his, his series. He has written a lot in the media. And they are on, on Google. Check, the, check him out. So that's basically what I, it's also part of the way I'm looking at it. Nigerians may not look at it from that perspective, but I'm also looking at it this way, that what you are seeing is all a, a way to do away with uh, Obasanjo legacy. At least that one, they can change it, even if they can't change some other ones that uh, Obasanjo's imprint could be seen. At least this, they can easily do away with it. So I will not be surprised that there is nothing too enticing, special about this anthem. But Bala Metinibu want it to be changed. And the National Assembly has to fall in line. And you know before, we thought that Ahmed Lawan uh, Senate, Ninth Senate, was a rubber stamp. I think this one is worse than rubber stamp. That is what we are having now. What we're having now is worse than a rubber stamp. And only God knows the next thing they will do. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button. Hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, Google will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.